from a football stadium in Northern Europe to the fields of South America, an irradiation center in Asia, and a remote farm in Western Africa. The work of the International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, can be seen in many places and in many faces. Through the multiple uses of nuclear science, the IAEA helps countries to tackle major development problems. Its programs strengthen the safe and secure use of nuclear energy and radioactive materials and contribute to the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Let's turn back the clock. With the devastating bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki still fresh in the world's memory, US President Eisenhower addressed the United Nations, calling for international cooperation in the peaceful uses the of atomic knows energy. That if the fearful trend of atomic military buildup can be reversed, this greatest of destructive forces can be developed into a great boom for the benefit of all mankind. His Atoms for Peace speech paved the way for the founding of the IAEA in 1957. The agency's mandate is clear to accelerate the contribution of nuclear energy to health and prosperity while preventing its use for nuclear weapons. I solemnly swear. Nuclear material is used to generate electricity. It can also be used to make bombs. Through a system of safeguards, the IAEA confirms that countries are using nuclear materials or technology for peaceful purposes only. Its inspectors visit all kinds of nuclear facilities. They make sure that all nuclear material remains in peaceful use and stays where it should be. They also check that none has been diverted. Surveillance cameras monitor facilities when inspectors can't be present and special seals ensure that no one has unauthorized access to the nuclear material. The inspectors are supported by these IAEA laboratories in Austria. Here, scientists analyze samples collected from inspections worldwide. They're confirming if the uranium and plutonium content in the nuclear materials matches that declared by the facilities where these samples were taken. And looking for any signs of undeclared nuclear activities. Nuclear power remains the best known peaceful use of the atom. Despite accidents like the one at Fukushima in Japan, Many countries still see nuclear power as a good way to produce electricity. It's a reliable source of low carbon energy and generates around 11% of the world's electricity. There are currently 438 nuclear power reactors in operation around the world, with 67 under construction. The IAEA provides services to its member states at all stages of nuclear power generation. The Fukushima accident was a major disaster. It was also a wake-up call for the international community. Following the accident, the IAEA's member states adopted the IAEA Action Plan on Nuclear Safety. Based on the recommendations of this plan, many nuclear power nations are now improving safety measures at their plants. Safety is the responsibility of individual countries, but the IAEA acts as a global body through which nations can help each other reach the highest standards of nuclear safety. If a nuclear accident does occur, 
the IAEA's Incident and Emergency Center is available 24 hours a day. The threat of nuclear terrorism is real. Nuclear and radioactive materials could be stolen from hospitals, power plants or industrial facilities and used to make a dirty bomb. The IAEA helps countries protect radioactive material and nuclear facilities against theft, sabotage and unauthorized access. Major public events could be targets for criminals using radioactive sources. The agency trains national authorities how to prevent or react to such an attack. Nuclear technology is used to diagnose and treat diseases such as cancer. The number of cancer cases is growing dramatically throughout the world. Developing countries are worst hit since they don't have enough staff or medical equipment. The IAEA operates programs that help countries set up and maintain cancer control projects. The IAEA laboratories, located south of Vienna, are the center of activity in food and agriculture. They also serve as a training base for scientists and students from developing countries. Nuclear techniques that are fine-tuned here are being deployed worldwide through IAEA projects. Irradiation helps breeders to develop improved varieties of plants and can protect fruit against pests. It makes food safer by killing harmful bacteria and can extend the shelf life of food by destroying microorganisms that cause decay. With the use of nuclear techniques, animal diseases are diagnosed quickly and brought under control. Farmers in drought-prone areas grow healthy crops using tiny amounts of water. And scientists can trace the sources of coastal pollution and prevent it. In Monaco, the IAEA operates marine laboratories. The protection of the oceans and the marine environment is the focus here. Research is conducted to prevent pollution, address acidification of the oceans, and promote seafood safety. Around 2,400 people from over 100 different countries work at the IAEA. The headquarters in Vienna, Austria, is the world's leading center for nuclear expertise. It's a venue for international conferences, meetings and workshops. Here, information is exchanged and solutions sought. Much has changed since the IAEA was founded over 50 years ago. But the agency has moved with the times and adapted too. The use of nuclear technology has now become an indispensable tool in medicine, industry and agriculture. The IAEA continues to grow in membership and importance. In 2005, its achievements were recognized with the Nobel Peace Prize. Since December 2009, Director General Yukia Amano has been at the helm of the IAEA. He took office committed to fulfilling the IAEA's Atoms for Peace mandate in the 21st century. But in this new millennium, growing populations continue to face multiple problems. People need sufficient and safe food, clean water, better health care, and greater access to energy. Nuclear techniques can address these needs. As countries make more use of these versatile technologies, the IAEA will increase its efforts to make sure they're used safely, securely, and peacefully.
making the work of the IAEA more relevant today than ever before.